Bonjour. Guten Tag. What's up, Prof? <laughs> Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. And after that intense training session yesterday with the club, today there's no training, but I still need to do my own bits of work. So today is going to be more like a lightly session, a bit of juggling, and I need to perfect my headers. Because this I need to do as my strongest attribute, headers. Because when you're 6'6 and you can't do headers, bruv, you're useless. So that's why I'm going to do this. And also, some of you guys realize already, sometimes I just wear different kind of boots. And you guys are always asking me, why you don't wear your new shoes and everything? You want to know why? I'll show you why. Guys, look at those boots. It's broken already. You see this stud? There and there. And that's what happens if you wear those boots every single time. So that's why I just change around and sometimes I just wear different kind of boots. And now I probably need to look out for other boots as well because those studs are broken. But that's exactly what I didn't want it to happen. That those boots will be finish but anyway let's do this session training done and now it's all about the World Cup because I'm looking forward to the England game and my predictions I think England is going to win like 1-0 but it's going to be a very tight game because Colombia man they are fighting like it would be their last game of their lives and also I'm thinking as well what happens if this club I'm trialing for is not working so i need to have a plan b so i try to do in the next couple of days try to create options and opportunities 
so maybe I'm gonna show up in clubs or because you never know. So freshly showered after that workout, what I love to have is just a simple protein shake with those vegan blends powder. And because proteins are so important for us football players, or in general, if you do a sport and you wanna have power and a good recovery, you need proteins. So that's why a pre-lunch meal is simply going to be like this protein shake with bread with peanut in with peanut butter and banana and those rice cakes so i'm going to enjoy that and also what i want to tell you guys is how to contact clubs to have a trial because especially now during pre-season Loads of clubs are trying to to get players in to get trial list to see how they are to probably sign them Some of you I guess doesn't have a club or are still looking for a club Now it's the time to go out and look out for clubs because those clubs are not waiting for you You need to be active and go out and contact clubs and how do I contact clubs? Let me show you so I assume some of you still don't know how the English league system function. So this is the league system. So you have obviously the Premier League is level one and then championship league one, league two. From one to four, this is league football. So those ones are professionals. And then fifth national league, this one like most of the clubs are professional as well. Even in the sixth division, National League North and South, some clubs are professional as well. And then from seven, it's non-league for like it's non-league clubs. So they play like either either Evo Stick, Northern, Ryman Premier League, and so on, so on, and then eighth division. So for example. You need to be realistic as well. From probably from one to four to get a trial when you're over 21 is really, really hard. So that's why to be realistic, try to look out for clubs in those three divisions, National League, National League North, National League South and Ryman Prem or Ryman Prem South and those kind from five to eight. Because in those one to four, you need to be really lucky or you need to have an agent or something to get in contact with those clubs. But for example, let's say National League. National League is a good level. So what I do is I see a football map. And these are all the clubs who are currently at the National League. So and I live around this area. So I look up all the clubs who are close to me. It's Dover, Maidstone, Aldershot, Eastleigh, Heavent, Waterlooville, Barnet, Bromley, Dagenham, Redbridge, and all those kind of clubs. And let's say, for example, um, let's say Dagenham and Redbridge. So, and then I type the name of the club on Google. I go to search. And mostly they will tell you where this club is located and everything. So what you can do is you can either call or go to their website and search for for the number of the secu secretary and everything. But let's be honest, guys, because with my experience and what I did is I emailed hundreds of clubs with my CV and I didn't get a response. And mostly you won't get a response because they get hundreds of those emails with their CVs and players sending videos and everything. So you need to stand out. So what I do is, of course, when you are a, an academy player and you are 14, 15, that might work because most of the teams, when you're under 16, 18, they offer even trials where you can just go there and trial for the club. But when you're over 18, 21, it's getting a bit harder. So what I do is 
you need to Google those clubs and Google for their training grounds and just show up there. But I think each player should do their own experience. So if you really feel like writing them your CV or a highlight video, just do it because it might gonna work for you. Because maybe it could be that I just had bad luck and I didn't get a response, but it might work for you. So please try it. If you feel like trying it, sending their CV and it can work. Also, I read an article last week where a player and he's now one of the top 50 players in the world and I don't want to say his name but him a few years ago how he got a trial for a good team was he said something that is not true and in my opinion there's nothing bad in saying something just to achieve your dreams even that is not true because he said that he was scouted by this club and he lost the number of the assistant manager and he called the secretary to just tell them if they could please give them again the number of the assistant manager. So the secretary just gave him the number. So that's how he got in contact with the club and he got a trial and he was accepted. But from my experience, what's really going to work in from step six to eight in those Ryman Premier League teams, when you just know their training grounds and when you just show up there and the managers, they will see that you really want to play football and they're gonna let you train. But man, let's go and see the England match. Guys, look at this queue. So how am I going to get in, bruv? But you know what? Brendan is coming inside somehow, so let's try it. This game couldn't be more dramatic. My predictions, England is going to win 4-3. When you win those kind of games, rough. England is seriously, after France, one of my top favorite teams who will win the World Cup. And I will tell you, France against England in the final, and then the football god is going to decide who's going to win. But England, 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 wow. Penalty shootout. What a dramatic game, so exciting. And you can't imagine after that game, what was happening on those streets. Thousands of people are singing, it's coming home. And all I want is to record that 
but my phone just decides, you know what, Brendan, I just switch off. <sighs> Guys, do you know those moments when you need your phone and then no battery? Ah, <sighs> bruv, I could freak out, but it doesn't matter. England won and also it was a good day and Team Brandao, you guys, you know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So Team Brandao, mm, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't think I'm